Hello everyone, my name is Adrian Warren. I am the founder of Kinderis Pictures and the host of the Kinderis Pictures podcast. Today's episode is going to be about the Long Beach earthquake of 1933 and a particular star that we lost because of that earthquake. I want to warn my listeners that I will be giving details about the earthquake and that this episode does include sound effects. Survivors of earthquakes or even survivors of the Long Beach earthquake, if you're listening, please be warned. Friday, March 10th, 1933. The people of Southern California were settling in after a hard week's work. The tops of beer cans were being pierced, pots and pans were being filled with water or oil. Perhaps children were enjoying their last few moments of sunlight before being summoned indoors. Then, at 5.54 p.m., Friday routines were shaken, literally, when the Newport Inglewood fault ruptured and caused Southern California's deadliest earthquake. The Long Beach earthquake of 1933 had a 6.4 magnitude and caused 120 deaths. It is estimated that two-thirds of the casualties occurred when people ran out of buildings and were hit by falling debris. Among the lives lost was a 28-year-old performer named Mildred Washington. Mildred Washington was born in Houston, Texas on March 16, 1905. When she was a teenager, she and her family moved to Los Angeles, where she would graduate from Los Angeles High School as valedictorian. Her entertainment career began in the 1920s, where she started as a dancer. She was a top performer in nightclubs and theaters like the Lincoln Theater, as well as a headliner and dance director at Sebastian's Cotton Club. Washington's film career began in 1927, when she made her uncredited debut in Uncle Tom's Cabin. Washington would go on to appear in about a dozen Hollywood films, including Hearts and Dixie with Clarence Muse and Step and Fetch It, Blonde Venus with Marlena Dietrich, and perhaps her most notable role as Carrie in Torchsinger, starring Claudette Colbert. Outside of acting, Washington was admired in her community for being a very cultured woman. She'd studied French and Latin, invested in real estate, and owned an impressive home library. According to Bright Boulevards and Bold Dreams, the story of Black Hollywood, Washington was at the Egyptian theater rehearsing for King Kong with other performers when the earthquake hit. When running outside, she tripped and developed appendicitis. The appendicitis led to peritonitis, which would eventually lead to her death on September 7, 1933. Mildred Washington was 28 years old. So something not mentioned in this recording or in that recording Um, The Torch Singer was actually released in theaters the very day after Mildred Washington died. And then within about two months after after her passing, two more films that she appeared in were released. So that's kind of a testament of to how hard she had been working, especially within about a year's time, how quickly her film career was starting to pick up. So Mildred Washington was her life was definitely cut very short, but it is and was a life absolutely worth celebrating so a little bit more information about the earthquake a lot of this information comes from um, the california department of conservation as well as some um la times articles so the long beach earthquake caused about 50 million dollars worth of damage and and this is 1933 dollars this isn't like current dollars with with inflation and all that that is how much the damage was worth in 1933 like miles and miles of Southern California areas, cities, towns, not just one one location, like many popular areas of Southern California were affected by this earthquake. And more than 500 people were injured in addition to the 120 who did pass away. And 70 schools were destroyed, 70 schools were destroyed. And people are still doing extensive research on this earthquake and the cause of it, the aftermath, the damage and things like that. But you can read up on it or read up on more about it on the California Department of Conservation's website. Um, You can check out historic articles in the L.A. Times um, or any L.A. newspapers or probably any newspapers in general. Um, Recent articles as well. Like I said, the L.A. Times um, article that I read about um, or I did read an L.A. Times article that was very recent. And and YouTube also has some vintage vintage newsreels from the earthquake, the aftermath of the earthquake, and all of that. 
Um, sources for this episode can be found at KendarisPictures.com and I do hope that you take an opportunity to read more into Mildred Washington's life, her career. Go check out some of her movies and her performances. And again, my name is Adrian Warren. I am your host and I hope you come back and listen.